Rob Hennifer. I'm the PGA Director of Golf here at Indian Spring Golf Course. And today we are honored uh, to host the Eastern Amputee Golf Association Veterans First Swing Clinic. Uh, it's a great day uh, with the PGA Hope and uh, the Eastern Amputee Golf Association. Uh, we are hosting veterans uh, with amputees and disabilities and giving them golf lessons uh, this afternoon. And it is a uh, fantastic day that we're very proud to be a part of. Thank you. I want to welcome everybody here to East Sam Township. What we have going on today here is a veteran amputee golf clinic. What we're trying to do is introduce veterans to the game of golf as part of the rehab. More importantly, this is shows the diff what happens when you look and combine government and community as we're doing here with East Sam Township and the Department of Veterans Affairs. It goes to our motto, it takes a nation to heal a veteran, and that's exact, exactly what these two organizations are doing. First of all, we're going to get into the formal stuff in a little bit. <coughs> what I'd like to do is welcome. Thanks everybody for coming. It's a wonderful day. I want to thank Kate for the beautiful weather. She ordered it for us. So, so what I'd like to start off with, we brought some uh, sponsors here who have some uh, programs outside of the VA. We want you to get some faces and names of some of the programs, some of the adapted sports programs that are available in our area. And I just wanted to do it. So once we get through that, Kate and I have a few words to say. Thank you, everybody. Welcome, everybody. And then guess what? It's lunchtime. So without the introduction, I'm going to start off with Chris Nowak. Chris Nowak is the national coordinator for the Hope PGA Hope Yay! Program. He's, he's the founding father of this clinic. So. Chris came back. Uh, he's now with the National PGA program. So Chris has uh, a few words to just talk about the HOPE program. They have a table set up over here as well as the other two um, suppliers. So make sure that you guys stop by and get some information. So Chris, it's all yours. Thank you very much. I appreciate all of you coming out today and uh, taking, learning a little more about this fine game of golf. Briefly, what PGA HOPE is helping our patrons everywhere, we provide you with golf lessons in an eight-week curriculum where we start from the beginning all the way to the last week where you play around the golf. It's an hour to hour and a half, one day a week. And what we do is you train, your lessons are provided by PGA professionals who are specifically trained to provide adaptive golf for veterans like yourself. It's free of charge. Um, this year, Philadelphia said they're taking a the team down to the PGA Championship to compete in this year's second Secretary's Cup, and that's where we have HOPE programs from across the country come down. Uh, Golf Channel will be there this year. So we got a lot of great things going on with the HOPE program. The table's over there. I encourage you to sign up. Um, you know, nothing says you gotta be a great golfer, but you can go out there and use golf as part of your therapy and uh, learn a little bit more about the game. So I appreciate you all attending. Um, once again, thank you very much. Thank you, Chris. Uh, the next next crew I want to bring in is is Jeff here. Jeff, yeah. <laughs> Jeff McGinnis. Jeff, um, what's your official title, Jeff? Executive director. Executive director of the Pennsylvania Adaptive Sports Program. They are based out of Boathouse Row down in uh, Philadelphia. So, Jeff, it's yours. Thanks, everybody. Uh, real briefly, we run, we operate about 12 different uh, sport programs, all designed for people uh, with physical disability. So we have rowing, kayaking, uh, skiing, climbing, um, like I said, 12 of them. They're all geared to get you started right up through powerlifting. So we kind of cover the spectrum and they happen all the time. So we really work hard to fit it into your schedule. So you, uh, I encourage you to uh, just get out there and do something, whether it's with us or uh, any other program uh, in the area. Uh, you know, just get started, try something, maybe it doesn't work. Try something else. That's the whole thing. It's important to keep moving, and uh, we're an all-volunteer organization, like many of these organizations. And we're here for you, uh, and we will do everything we can to get you doing the sports that you want to do. Okay, so thank you, and thank you for inviting us. They do have the resources, and they do have equipment available. So it's one of those things. Get with Jeff, find out some times and stuff like that. Show up, and they'll take care of you from there. Just show up. Just okay. show up. Literally show up. And then the next one is Brandon. Brandon Holiday. Brandon runs your official title. 
executive director. Executive director. There we go. It's an executive director today. Um, with a program called Athletes with Disabilities Network uh, from the Northeast. Uh, his program um, is in our area as well, too, so it's all yours, Brandon. How's everybody doing today? Good. Outstanding. I am the executive director of Athletes Disabilities Network, and we have two main components to our programs. The first, and what I believe to be the most important, is mentoring and outreach. So what we do is we try and recruit and train mentors of varying disability levels, and we actually go to the hospitals and visit new patients or some are older patients that are still transitioning through a disabling event. So we actually pair them up with someone of like disability and assist them through their transition. This may be just by having someone to go to, and as we know, some of us lost our legs and you need someone to, to ask questions to. Um, it may be finding out about available grants, how to get back to work, what resources are available. And we start with that. And then we use our adaptive sports programs to create opportunities for all of us to get together just like this and be able to compete in sports. Some of our main sports are kayaking as well. I'm on the U.S. national team for sprint kayaking. And then we have adaptive rowing, but we also do a triathlon program, kids triathlon. We work with kids all the way down from three years old to as old as whoever wants to come out. I think our oldest member is 95. So it's, it's whatever anybody wants to do. And the, the importance of the sports program is adapting whatever you need to 